Hello guys, it's Sipanin here and today we have our first vlog and for this vlog we're gonna talk about horror games. On this horror video I'm going to talk about two horror games that I like, two horror games I've played and I didn't like, two horror games I didn't play but I can't wait to play it, and the best horror game I've played this week. So sit down, grab your popcorn and let's talk. The first horror game I've played in my life was Resident Evil, the first one. I played this game in 1997. By that time I was 5 years old, so of course I didn't finish the game in 1997. But it felt so good on shooting zombies. I really liked it. Resident Evil is a game that I didn't consider horror because I had a gun, so I could kill things, and that never made me scary. Now everything's changed. And I couldn't play the demo from Resident Evil 7 because I don't have a PlayStation 4. But I can't wait to play the real game. And it looks a lot more like horror to me now. Going back to Resident Evil 1, of course I would play as Drew Valentine as I was a kid. Like she was this girl that was super strong and nice and sexy and she would kill zombies. That's pretty cool for a kid. I remember I used to get scared a little in some parts of the game where there were like jump scares. It wasn't big jump scares, but for example, there is this part where you're going down a hallway and dogs jump from the window, and that part was terrifying for a five years old. I really doubt that there is a game that doesn't know Resident Evil, because it's a game that everybody talks about, and in my opinion, it's one of the only games that Capcom has that is really worth playing. I'm sorry, Danny, you have a really cool outfit, but your game is not that good. I haven't played the new games by Capcom though, like Remember Me, and I really want to play, and maybe it is cool, so I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone. Let's talk about the second game I love. This is a game called Soul Reaver. If you are not an old gamer and you have started playing like from 2000 on, you probably don't know this game. And if you don't know this game, you probably should, because it is really good, if you don't mind about the old graphics. It's a game that was launched in 1999 by Crystal Dynamic, and by that time, like, every good game was by Crystal Dynamic and Eidos. I don't remember exactly the year I played this game, it was probably in 2000. So the game goes through the Raziel story. And he is this vampire that eats souls of the dead, and it's pretty cool. The best part of the game was the puzzles, because you have this new interactive thing that was coming on by that time, that it was the changing plans. So you had two options of plans. You could go through the living world or the dead world. And in each plan you had a specific interactivity. So to solve some puzzles in the game, you had to change the plans. And it was a little hard, but it was really good. And it was something that was new by that time. And I remember a lot of games had that, like Onimusha, for example, which is a really good game. And if you haven't heard this name, I'm going to talk about it in another vlog, probably because I love this game. Now, going to the games that I don't like. Number one, Clock Tower. I'm gonna talk about the second game first, because it was from Human Entertainment and it was from 1998 and I remember playing it around 2000. So when I bought the game I thought, oh my god, this story must be awesome, it's gonna be a lot of jump scares and it's gonna be like Resident Evil style and I never got so disappointed in my life. It was a horrible point and click game, it was like two hours of nothing. I mean nothing. So you would just hang around clicking on stuff, talking to people for hours and hours without getting anywhere. But in 2002, guess who? Capcom made a better game. It was not that good, it didn't have like a awesome story and it was two hours of nothing and one hour of hiding. And in the end, you would kind of fight some enemies. But still, it didn't get me. I didn't like it. Which leads me to the second game I didn't like it. That is Hunting Ground. It is pretty similar to the Clock Tower 3. It was launched in 2005 by Capcom. And in Japan, it's called Dementu. 
What I didn't like in this game is that it pretty much reminds me of Clock Tower. So you play as this girl, Fiona, and she has this dog. And the reason she has this dog is because Capcom thought the players wouldn't like to play with the girl. What? So the story of the game is not very good too, just like Clock Tower. And you have this dog, so you run for two hours and then you make the dog go and chase the monster so you can hide for one hour until the, dog's come, until the dog comes and you know it's clear. It's pretty much it. And now let's go to the games I haven't played and you're gonna be surprised. I haven't played Silent Hill yet. It is like a very old game from 1999 and I remember that when I used to play Resident Evil a lot of people talked about Silent Hill and I've never played. I actually started playing one but it wasn't my game, it was from a friend of mine who had lended me the game and I couldn't finish it so I think that doesn't count because I think I've played for one hour like tops. And it's a game that I have a lot of curiosity to play because I love the story. I know everything about Silent Hill. I've searched a lot. I've watched a lot of gameplays. I just have no good reason for not having played the game yet. The second game I haven't played yet is Outlast 1. I have played the 2, the demo version. You can see here in my channel I have the gameplay here. But I haven't played the first one. It's a game from 2013 from Red Barrow Studios. And it's a game that seems really cool and really scary because the scene is an asylum and nothing is scarier in the year 2000 than an asylum. When I downloaded the demo from Outlast 2, I really thought it was going to be in an asylum too. And I got so disappointed because I wanted so much to play in an asylum. So I bought Outlast 1 and I'm going to play and you're gonna have a gameplay of it soon. And now for the finale, I'm gonna talk about my favorite game from this week. And my favorite game from this week was Black Rose. This game scared me to death. So when I was looking for games to play to you, of course I started looking for free games that I could put here and everyone could play if they liked it. And I came across a lot of games and one of these was Black Rose. So the first thing that I saw on Black Rose was that it had a lot of good reviews. But most of them were from the people that hadn't finished the game because they thought it was too scary. And I said, yeah, that's the game I want to play because I am so easily scared. And I want it to be a funny video. It will probably be because I will get scared a lot and I will scream a lot and I'm gonna scare the whole house and wake up all the neighbors. And that's exactly what happened because, oh god, this game is scary. But I got really happy to be able to finish it and play to you guys because I think that this video, Black Rose, is my best video. And now, of course, I want to hear from you, so please tell me your favorite horror games on the comment section below. And that's it for our vlog! Thank you so much for staying with me until the end, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, subscribe if you like this video and give me a thumbs up, because it really helps the channel. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye guys and keep playing!